Hey guys, welcome back to another speedboat on my channel, Livy Blivy. So in today's one, we're doing a small, like six by six kind of build. Although I do have a pretty decent size deck on there. Um, so I don't actually know if that's like breaking the rules or whatever, but you know, go with the flow and I make my own rules. <laughs> so whatever. <laughs> so this one's going to be a, uh, like a cabin wooden little look. It's just a single bed household. So just for the one sim, but if you don't want to have the whole six by six thing, it is so easy to just extend that bedroom um, and, and create it and put a double bed in. So I, I actually really quite like this. I, I was feeling a little bit inspired and I just wanted to, to do, I just wanted to build like the day that I did it, it was a couple of days ago now. I don't been last week or something. Anyway, I just, I just really felt like building something on The Sims and, and most of my builds take quite a while still because I'm still, um, I'm still playing around with what you can do and things uh, so this one I was like well let's just let's let's do something simple but still be a bit adventurous so um, yeah so I had the the drop down floor in, in the bedroom so they have to you know go down there and, and get to their staff and and I, I use um, poles on the deck which I don't usually use because I it feels kind of like country I don't know, it just has this country vibe to, for me, and I, I don't know if I like that, but I think it worked well for this house. Yeah. <laughs> so right now I'm just playing around with our windows and stuff, and I, and I eventually do change it from the ones that I, I put in. Um, A, because I realise that they look terrible with the uh, colour that I've got, and also because um, they're just not available in enough, like not enough windows are available in the same style. And I, I really wanted, for such a small house, like I really wanted things to match, otherwise it would have looked really strange, like just more, all mismatched and stuff. So yeah, I play around with that a bit more and I add more of the wooden feel now. So I like changed up the steps and the the um, the uh, decking and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'm just kind of just playing around and trying to decide what I want. It's really difficult trying to choose wood. Um, for like for like flooring and stuff because it really opens up a house when it's the right the right piece of flooring and, and for such a small home I really wanted to make sure that the, the stuff I used was gonna work well um, so the bedroom is that little grassy patch that you can see that I just put carpet in um, and then obviously the bathroom is the one with the little uh, room there so I'm just going to sort out the roof now and I did play around with a few things and I, I, I didn't really have a plan for this house when I started building it so um, everything kind of developed just from playing around with building it like um, I wasn't going to put um, a large roof going over the deck I wasn't planning on that but it, it just sort of, sort of happened it hasn't quite happened yet but you're about to see it so don't worry <laughs> um, and yeah I just wanted it to be like a really cute little um, like a little little starter home kind of thing for your sim if you just wanted to play with the one you know if you really wanted to play the whole story with your sim from the beginning you know like living by themselves meeting someone new um, you know succeeding in their job and, and sort of moving up the ranks kind of thing so that's kind of what I was thinking when I when I built this house um, and the sim that I use to sort of make sure everything works and it's not too cramped and everything. It's just a sim I got off the um, gallery who made it. Sorry about that. Um, but she's really cute. And um, I kind of like because the aspiration was like, you know, to find a soulmate. And I was like, oh, you won't be in this house forever. You know, it was like, it was, I don't know. It was kind of nice knowing that, that she would sort of move on with her life and, and go elsewhere where her life led her and things like that super cheesy I know but that's okay <laughs> um, so right now I'm just yeah just trying to decide what I want trying to get things to work the way that I want them basically um, oh I think I paused it um, when there was like a bird flying through the air and so sometimes in the view you can see this like black thing and you're like what the heck Cause, oh there it is yeah did you see it <laughs> because it moves so quickly you're like whoa what was that and it's just this bird that's there um, that you can only see it in certain uh, views yeah because you know <laughs> I have excellent timing obviously when I when I do things like that um, so I'm just putting on some exterior on the roofing so that that's kind of the exterior done in terms of um, 
the the decking and the and the colors and stuff so i think it looks really cute like you know like it's just this little cute cube of a house and it's small and cozy and yeah so i was like okay so how am i going to do this exterior because the outs the sorry the interior because the exterior is you know wood cabin not dark looking but you know very um very like um oh what was i going to say like 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 little holiday club home you know like just super chilled and and relaxing and i was like well how am i gonna do that inside like i didn't want it to be the same kind of colors inside i was like that would be so awful can you imagine living in a house that was completely in the color scale of brown brown and gray you know like i'm all for earthy tones but then you can have too much earth um so I, I that I I learned this after doing this. I um eventually was like, hmm, that's not quite right. <laughs> so uh, I think I I changed a lot of the or not a lot. I changed um the the lounge and and, and stuff. I think once more after this um, because I was like, it's just not quite working. But one thing that I do love is that I I go quite colourful with the um, furniture. So I, I, I basically decided that green was going to be my um, like pop of color. And so I, I accent, accent, oh, words. I use accents of green around the house to, to give it a bit more color. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure that my, the Sim that lives here is gonna have, you know, everything that they need and enough space, you know, to live and, and to, to do what they need to do so just playing around with bathroom placement and all that kind of stuff and I even though I wanted it to be quite open plan like I I didn't want it to be like full uh, walls with doors because it was just gonna feel so tiny if I did that so even though I didn't want to do that I was still very um, careful to to still sort of like show that there were differences in rooms um, so I was just playing around with placements and stuff. So there's the first pop of green that you can see. So I picked that couch with the green on it because I just, it just pops out at you and I think it's really pretty. Um, and I'm just playing around to see what else I can get. Um, and I was like, hmm, where am I gonna put the TV? I didn't quite think this through. Um, but I actually kind of like what I eventually ended up doing, which is this, like just a little, little TV on a little thing. You know, you don't need too much. You don't need a ginormous screen and you know, if she wants to maybe, she could always put it in the bedroom on that wall on the li on the right there if she really wanted to. Or he, you know, you might have a male sim that's moving in. Um, so as you can see, it's just going to be a double, uh, a single bed, sorry. Um, but really easy to just extend that room and make it bigger so that you can fit a double bed in there as well. Um, if you don't want to ruin the six by six, I'll let it slide. <laughs> so I, I had to move that table out because it wasn't gonna fit the um, computer on the right hand side and I needed it to do that because otherwise it was not going to work. So I don't know if any, any of you have seen that you can do this with um, some of the, the moving tools but they are totally capable of using that computer and sleeping in that bed even though the table is over on the end because they don't, they don't, as you know, they only enter from, from the bed, the top of the bed, so that was really cool. I, I like being able to, um, it just feels a lot more real when you can do things like that. I really like that about The Sims, it's, it's nice. I like it. And I'm sure everyone else does too, because I know that a lot of people do it as well. So there you go. <laughs> um, so at the moment I'm just doing a lot of like accessories and stuff, so I'm just adding in bits and bobs. It's hard to, um, not hard I suppose, but generally when I build something I'm building for a family or a sim in particular so like I know the kind of um, skills and stuff that I, that my sim are sims are going to need to learn and so I know what to put in their houses you know whether they're going to need an easel or a musical instrument or do they need a woodworking table or you know an exercise machine and so building this one with no sim in mind it was really weird because I was like ah, oh, okay I can literally put whatever I want in here and I was like, well, I think painting's probably the most like universally used, um, you know, whether whatever they're doing, because it is such an easy way to earn money without having a job in The Sims. I say easy because it eventually earns you a lot of money, but oh my gosh, 
if you're trying to complete the painting aspiration it's a pain getting those masterpieces at the end is so frustrating <laughs> so frustrating um, so I'm just playing around with certain things that I'm doing I'm sort of I'm sort of setting it up as like a little mini mini office kind of thing which is really fun um, and because I did have a, a, a girl in mind when I built this house I do add um, a, I think one or two things that are that are probably like this one like the the um, perfume sort of tray but I mean that's easily changed out to be men's care if you'd like or whatever you want you can put whatever you want on there I just wanted to get a shelf in because it I love clutter like it just it just makes it that much more real I think um, so you can see that I've got the green accents coming around now I've got lots of pot plants that are just gonna pop up everywhere like plants and I think it's I think it's nice especially in a small home just to have that that pop of green and that pop of like life everywhere I think that's really important so um, yeah the pot plants sort of pop up all over the place and um, we've got the rug and the couch um, and I eventually add some paintings I think that have some green in them as well so yeah like I didn't want to do too much and I didn't want everything to just be green and brown so I think I've got quite a nice balance it's you know like the the benches aren't brown brown they're like a nice pale um, like timber wood kind of look to it so yeah I think we did I think I did pretty well um, I do now know that I put the painting on the right hand side of the bedroom a little too low like I feel like it looks a little off um, so if you want, you know feel free to, to move that up if you'd like <laughs> and also what I love about this home is that it doesn't take that much lighting so yeah I, I was like oh you know it's gonna flow through enough and I think it did I think it looks really nice um, you know it worked out quite well because everything sort of it's 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 blocked off in rooms but it still flows really well so I was really I was really happy with how it turned out um, yeah so I'm just doing the uh, deck now um, you're gonna see some more pot plants of course because I love me some pot plants <laughs> and I do do a little bit of landscaping up the back but not too much because um, well I just wanted to keep it quite simple and um, obviously when you build well at least when I build some uh, houses I try and keep the landscape uh, sort of match in the neighborhood um, but when you when you know that you're going to be loading something from the gallery it's a little bit harder to to know what's going to be around so I was like oh let's keep it super simple and then I noticed this and I was like oh my god I moved the house and because that room technically isn't a room um, it's just walls so I had to move everything and redo the carpet and <laughs> redo the shelving and everything so you learn these things the hard way um, it looks super fast forwarded and like it barely took any time at all and I suppose it didn't really but it was a little bit annoying because I was actually meant to be going out that night that I filmed this and my partner was like come on Leia we need to go like stop recording and I'm like no I never get to record it in one go and I really want to be able to do that so you'll be happy to know that I got to do it in one go which also made editing it super easy which is what I like the most <laughs> So I'm just adding a little bit of like rocks going up to the, the um, deck there and I've got some flowers around the letterbox. Sometimes the mailmen are like, oh, I couldn't reach your letterbox, but then you get the mail anyway. So, you know, you can always move it if, if it's annoying, if, <laughs> if you keep getting that notification. But I don't think that one should be too bad, um, but I could be wrong, so you never know. Um, I wasn't feeling that hedge, so I was like, no, we just need mismatched paint, uh, mismatched floral arrangement you know get some get some bushes and stuff in there putting a bit of outdoor lighting and there's the pot plants <laughs> I love pot plants they're so pretty I also just put up two um, wall mounted plants that I later on realize are from the get together exp expansion so I do remove those so don't worry you won't have to uh, worry about those when I put this on the gallery um, which it, and it should be on um, by the time that this goes up because I usually try and do them pretty much at the same time so on the gallery my name is Livy Blivy Sims um, I think in previous uh, in previous uh, clips I've mentioned that it was used to be called Nicky Minzio and that was my partner's orange account but I have changed it because he's not using it for things like this and I am so <laughs> He generously allowed me to change his name on Origin, so it's Livy Blivy Sims now. Um, 
Yeah, so I've got a little bird bath and I, l- I love the hose. Like, I don't think I've ever used that in a build before, which is so random. Um, I love it. It's so cute. And I love that little, um, like, pulley with the flowers on it. I just think it's so cute. Yeah, so I don't want to do too much. I was just kind of like, hmm, what do we need here? <laughs> so there's me checking that everything works, that she can sleep and play on the computer and, and get to everything and... Yeah, I just played with her for a little bit, checked everything was okay. And I wanted to make sure that those things out on the deck were okay, the chairs. And now we're doing screenshots, so I hope you guys like it.